show you, well this is a misting fan. Um, you pump a little thing there, and there's your little uh, blades and all that. I'll switch on the back, batteries stay in there, uh, water goes in the bottom. It's a bit of a strange water thing because it's actually upside down, so if the o-ring fails it's, yeah, <laughs> it goes real bad. Uh, you can't just hold it upright and be fine. I just wanted to show this little misting fan, it's just a little piece of Chinese junk I bought basically. Um, <clears throat> and tell you a bit about misting fans in general. Now the misting fans that I have seen, um, some countries are not too hard to get a hold of, but generally speaking they're quite hard to get a hold of um, in this country and I've, they're just not that common, even in other countries from what I gather. Um, I've seen some even on the internet at Chinese Expo on that. Um, it basically uses the um, evaporative cooling effect um, and yeah, instead of it being sort of having like some sort of fabric with water in it and the air trying to blow through that to sort of carry it on the air um, to you know get the water into the air uh, and draw the latent heat energy out of the air um, it uses water mist to do it instead and it works pretty much the same <coughs> and really good ones which are you know the vast majority of them because they they are not cheap um, you know the mister blasts away and so long as you're you know a meter or two away you won't even get wet from it it'll all be on the air um, a lot of them uh, I think almost all of them have a thing where they'll recatch any water that doesn't sort of quite take off in the air or whatever. They, they've got ways where they can recycle their water. Um, and they are expensive devices. I mean, they are the price of real air conditioners and more sometimes. Um, <clears throat> also, you'll notice on them, the consumption is always pretty hefty. 350 watts non-stop, more than 500 watts non-stop. You're actually far better to go and get a small box size air conditioner, um, like the ones I've been seeing, um, made by uh, a very well known brand. And they are 510 watts usually, and I think they, when they're first turned on and they're going pretty hard, they'll take 760 watts. Um, and quite frankly, the power that a real air conditioner takes, you know, is basically the same as or not too much more than what these things take when they're running non-stop but the air conditioner only starts the compressor and goes for a while and then it shuts up and it starts to get, it's actually more efficient to use a full-blown air compressor which is unfortunate but if you're a smart enough little cookie um, I'm now being told that um, I've got an overhead water tank at 12 foot high I've been told that overhead water tanks at 10 foot high will give you four and a half psi that's what I've been seen on YouTube um, and you know you may be able to rig a mystery out of that or the other old one um, is your old weed sprayer um, and the other option still is to get this sort of a thing you can buy these like a dollar stores and stuff I've got a crap one here that uh, if it's gone cost me dollar fifty and have some sort of little engine or little solenoid pushing the thing um, solenoids tend to just go click straight up so you might be a bit hard on the solenoid and half short of that, but if you've got a worm gear or something, some sort of way of, of using this, um, you know, to keep pushing it, that might be an idea, but that, I mean, it's only plastic junk. So you want something that's more like a full-blown mister, like what we had in the nurseries. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, you can usually, if you don't want to run, uh, you know, a little hand pressure pump thing that you're going to have to keep pumping up all the time, you can, if you do it properly, um, and I've got a video that I've got to show you about a system that I've seen at a roadworks truck, um, and you could basically copy that system and use an air compressor to run a mister all night. Now it'll be a bit of stuff around. You'll need to run the air compressor for you know 15 minutes, um, and you know take you know 10 minutes to fill the water up and all that. But then you get a full-blown misting fan um, where the mister runs you know, entirely 
off of the fact that you ran this air compressor for 10 or 15 minutes off a generator and then it runs all night long. And the only thing you've got to worry about is electricity for the fan which just comes out of a solar rig. Um, so yeah, they're sort of a different kind of evaporative cooling. Um, my experience in misters is they are absolutely glorious. They are evaporative cooling to levels that you didn't think was possible with any sort of evaporative cooler or swamp cooler uh, that you've ever come across. I mean, it is brilliant. I've had it go from temperatures, let's say about 124 degrees Fahrenheit, temperatures that have been the worst temperatures in my life, um, down to lovely, like 65 degrees Fahrenheit. And you may say, oh, that's not possible. Well, I'll tell you what, that's what it felt like. I mean, it went from around 50 degrees Celsius to, I swear, it was like 18 or 19, uh, like 19 or 20 degrees Celsius. I mean, I've never experienced cooling like it in my life, and that was misters in glass houses at um, the nursery, Boomer Nurseries that I was at. Um, so yeah, that's just a little one I wanted to show you that you don't see a great ton of on the market and frankly I've only actually seen two in Australia and they're only when they're trying to clear them from this place and I never even knew they stocked them until I seen them the last two in a clearance thing when they were trying to basically, um, well, close that branch of that store. Um, yeah, and a uh, pretty hefty price tag on, even on clearance, they were wanted 400 bucks for them. Um, or more, um, and yeah, that's uh, another little evaporative cooling technology you may not have come across. Uh, they're usually for sort of larger style situations, um, that's why the fans on them are, are so big, but yeah, there you go.